Good evening. My name is Alexander Hager. I'm the CEO of a small, medium-sized business in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst and financial journalist. I've also been a research engineer in telecommunications. Tonight, what I'd like to speak to you about uh, references a previous talk I talked about the rise of nationalism and nationalist parties. Uh, and obviously, with uh, Trump's America First speech, there's a danger. Uh, or the implication that this could have various kinds of reverberations. And the last time we had ultra nationalism in the 1930s didn't end well. So, uh, one of my previous talks, I showed this map I created, which is of the nationalist parties in Europe. It's not perfect, um, but uh, let, I, I will hit the update button if, uh, yes, maybe I fixed the document. Um, but. <clears throat> In fact, it's exactly what we uh, feared, really. Um, yeah, uh, which is that uh, uh, now the Polish ultranationalists are already in charge. Now, being a nationalist party means all kinds of different things. Not all of them are climate change deniers. Things have gotten complicated. So this is not a map of necessarily fascism. And Ukraine is uh, much higher than what's listed there, I think, as well. Um, so the import wasn't perfect. Now, what's happened today is quite astonishing, um, which is that Jerry Brown made a speech, uh, which I have a one minute and 50 second clip of, I want you to listen to. Uh, but to preface it, uh, the poll climbed from 20% uh, people in California wanting to uh, secede to now 33%. Now, the thing is that, uh, where is it? Uh, one third, yeah. So 50% um, are opposed. Uh, it, but you see, it's quite a mess because you'd have two totally different types of peoples wishing to break away. One, uh, if Trump's policies get too anti immigrant, if Trump's policies get too uh, anti abortion. Uh, if they get too pro-oil, it could cause a big backlash in the progressive and uh, center-left in the United States. And if, uh, and on the other hand, you have uh, the state of Jefferson and the uh, many people who don't want to be ruled by the urban centers, uh, I suppose. Uh, the state of Jefferson movement is very strong in certain rural counties. Has shown deep division. The inauguration of the new president has shown deep divisions across America. While no one knows what the new leaders will actually do, there are signs that are disturbing. We must prepare for very uncertain times and reaffirm the basic principles that have made California the great exception that it is. First, in California, immigrants are an integral part of who we are and what we become. California has enacted several protective measures for the undocumented. The Trust Act, the driver's licenses, basic employment rights, and non-discriminatory access to higher education. We will defend everybody, every man, woman, and child who's come here for a better life and has contributed to the well-being of our state. The climate is changing. The temperatures are rising, and so are the oceans. Natural habitats everywhere are under stress. The world knows this. 194 countries have signed the Paris Agreement to control greenhouse gases. We can't fall back and give in to the climate deniers. The science is clear. The danger is real. We can do much on our own, and, and we can join with others, other states and provinces, even countries, to stop the dangerous rise in climate pollution. And make no mistake, we're going to do exactly that. 